this is another study called Beyond Surface Statistics out of Harvard. So this has nothing to do with the Google project that we're looking at, but this paper tries to answer the question of how do these models, how do they create images? How do they create videos? As you can see here, it says these models are capable of synthesizing high quality images, but it remains a mystery how these networks transform, let's say the phrase car in the street into a picture of a car in the street. So in other words, when we type in this, when a human person says, draw a picture of a car in the street or a video of a car in the street, how does that thing do it? How does it translate that into a picture? Do they simply memorize superficial correlations between pixel values and words, or are they learning something deeper, such as the underlying model of objects, such as cars, roads, and how they are typically positioned? And there's a bit of an argument going on in the scientific community about this. So some AI scientists say all it is is just sort of surface level statistics. They're just memorizing where these little pixels go and they're able to kind of reproduce certain images, et cetera. And some people say, well, no, there's something deeper going on here, something new and surprising that these AI models are doing. So what they did is they created a model that was fed nothing but 2D images. So images of cars and people and ships, et cetera. But that model, it wasn't taught anything about depth like depth of field, like where the foreground of an image is or where the background of an image is. It wasn't taught about what the focus of the image is, what a car is, et cetera. And what they found is, so here's kind of like the decoded image. So this is, but here in the beginning, you have no idea. And yet the model knows that something right here is in the foreground, something's in the background. And towards the end, it knows that this is closer, this is close, and this is far. This is salient object, meaning like, what is the focus? What is the main object? So it knows that the main object is here. It doesn't know what a car is. It doesn't know what an object is. It just knows like this is the, the focus of the image. Again, only towards much later do we realize that, yes, in fact, this is the car. And so this is the conclusion of the paper. Our experiments provide evidence that stable diffusion model, so this is an image generating model, AI, although solely trained on two-dimensional images, contain an internal linear representation related to scene geometry. So in other words, after seeing thousands or millions of 2D images inside its neural network inside of its brain, it seems like, and again, this is a lot of people sort of dispute this, but some of these research makes it seem like it's developing this neural net that allows it to create a 3D representation of that image, even though it's never been taught what 3D means. It uncovers a salient object, so sort of that main center object that it needs to focus on versus the background of the image, as well as information related to relative depth. And these representations emerge early. So before it starts painting the colors or the little shapes or the, the wheels and the shadows, it first starts thinking about the 3D space on which it's going to start painting that image. And here they say these results add a nuance to the ongoing debates, and there are a lot of ongoing debates about this, about whether generative models, so these AI models, can learn more than just surface statistics. In other words, is there some sort of understanding that's going on? Maybe not like human understanding, but is it just statistics or is there something deeper that's happening?